Okie doke, right. In my last video, I said, oh, I bought one of these, you know, I only paid 36 quid for it and I'm not gonna use the insides. I also said, I haven't actually seen inside one of these things. I haven't bothered Googling the, the PCB or the insides or the specs or anything about what's inside this thing. I don't even know what USB it uses. All I know is from what I've seen on videos that these are actually USB, like standard uh, A female sockets in there. Other than that, I don't really know. I'm gonna have a look in it now, find out what it looks like inside and see what I'm working with. Whatever's inside this thing, and I'm hoping that this USB is on a separate PCB, but if it's not, if it's all one thing, I can work with that, that's not a problem. I have various female USB type. Nah, focus, focus, focus. Nah, 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 you're not gonna do it. All right, well, okay. The uh, fame, various USB type A sockets. Nah, it's, you really wanna look at that, don't you? There you go. Um, so female USB type A sockets, not a hard thing to come by and I've got a micro USB there. I can just desolder them off something like this. This is an old um, uh, lithium iron battery charging component that I bought ages ago. I was using it for the um, Exodus Box 360 when I bought that, but I'm just keeping them for parts. So I've got I've got m so many of these I can use. Plus if I bought them on eBay, they're like pence. So let's have, open up this thing and see what is inside. Um, like I say, I haven't seen in there yet. I don't really know what's gonna be inside, but I'm about to find out. Hopefully, it's something that I can work with. Now, these have been unboxed just all over the place. Like, if you've ever spent any time on YouTube, you've probably seen one of these unboxed. So, I know what roughly is in there, but I have not seen anyone take one apart. Now, I know the Digital Foundry boys did one, but I haven't seen it, which is somewhat annoying. That's it, it's a lovely box. Like, don't get me wrong. It looks real nice. Okay. Cool. I can work with that. All right. So we've got two type A controls. I mean, even if I have to shim down, I don't think the fan's going to fit. In fact, I'm pretty sure that fan's not going to fit. That is a lot smaller than what I thought. Okay, but I can still, I mean, I can fit the rest in, so the fan, maybe not. Oh, I can put the fan underneath. Maybe cut out these. Maybe cut out these under here and have the fan pointing. Now, it needs to be cooled, and I don't want to drill holes in the top, so I'll fit a... <laughs> They've even modeled the little parallel port on the back. So, it is a micro USB, it looks like and standard HDMI, which is why I bought this female socket, because that can go in there. Um, I'm not even gonna bother looking at the controllers because I know what they look like. I just wanna see what is inside this thing. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Is there any, there's no screws. Doesn't feel like there's any screws under here. I think it's just five. Uh, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Let's try this one. Are we gonna come out? No, okay, all right. What other ones have we got? We're gonna try this one. Uh, all right, hang on, let me just have another quick look. This is a standard Philips one, right? Yes. Oh, goodness me. These things are in real tight. They did not want anyone getting these out. All right, well, where well, there's a wheel. There's a bigger screwdriver. No, okay, all right, no, I can work with this. You are not gonna keep me out, Sony. I bought it, arguably not from you, but I did buy it. And I am going to mod it. There we go. All right, so looking at the size, I doubt it's gonna be two PCBs. I'm assuming it's just all one board. And if it's all one board, I can work with that. Because I can Basically, what I'm assuming is going to be inside is a PCB with some surface mounted micro switches on it for the buttons and maybe a chip for maybe just like a RAM chip and a single CPU chip and that's it basically. So a few resistors and that's your lot. Could be wrong, maybe a heat shield, maybe. 
I don't know. I know this thing isn't exactly... See, the reason I'm not keeping it and modding it, because I know you can mod these, put more games on and whatnot, but the emulator's garbage. Like, it's not the ROMs that's the problem, it's the emulator. It looks garbage. Like, the, the, the Raspberry Pi, you can output a 1080p with smoothing and and texture filtering and just and you can sharpen up the 3d models it just looks way better so let's have a quick look what am i dealing with in here last couple of turns all right okay let's take this thing apart ah oh, right yeah so got a little bit of shielding there Okay, what's that connected to? Just those. Okay, all right. What have we got inside? We've got three, four more screws inside? Okay, not a problem. Like I say, once this comes out, it's not going back in because I am never turning this thing on. Um, yeah, it's not the it's not the games that are on it that's the problem. Everyone moaned about the games that are on it. No one seemed to be moaning about how poorly they run. Like, even if you put... A, a 20 really good games on it that's not the point they run like garbage you've got one save slot you know what i mean no screenshot capability no online capability no nothing it's just it's just a bad time all round um all right is that yeah here we go so what i'm interested in is here so these buttons they're spring loaded buttons which really helps and uh, you're gonna focus. You're gonna. You, you just want to look at that, All right? Don't you? So when you push that out, I'm just putting the micro switch underneath this little cross section here. Lovely. And this will be the clicker one. So I'm gonna shave that down. You see that stick there? Half of that can come off, or half of that length can come off. Now I'll go click, click on, click, click off. Easy peasy. It looks like there's already there's already vent holes cut in the side. It's got this plastic here. But look, there's actual daylight coming through, see? Huh. Maybe I could get a fan. I mean, the fan's obviously too large to go in there. But maybe I could mount it down or out and cut that out and maybe force it out the side. Because it's too... It's a lot taller than that. But maybe I could mount it there. I don't know. And then force it out the bottom. I'm not quite sure. Ah, that's interesting, though. Okay, so this bit here is on a plate, which makes things way easier for me. Do these come out separately, individually? Oh, good, right. So, in the last video, I was like, I'm making memory cards for it, and I am. What I've got is one of those ST, SD card ribbon extenders. A bit like I used for the Janus Pi, where it came out of the Pi itself out the SD card and that, wrap round, and then you had another sort of SD port. I'm gonna put that in here. So when you wanna change SD cards, you put it in there. And then to cover that up, I'm gonna make a little Perspex memory card that sits over the top. Obviously, it's gonna be very small, but the fact that this comes out separately means that I'm only cutting out this little bit here, which makes that way easier for me. I'm so glad these are these are out. Okay, so what am I looking at in here? Yeah, look, there's a tiny little micro switches. I can either desolder them from here and use these ones, or what is going on with this heatsink? Is it just, oh, it's just glued. They've just used some paste. Okay. Okay, yeah, so um, yeah, it's basically what I thought. It's all a single board. It looks like you've got one CPU chip and a RAM chip. Oh yeah, look, there's your video and yeah, it's all on there. So the, the ROMs are stored on there. Or the ROMs are stored either on that one or that one. Oh, you can't see it because the heat shield's there. But yeah, you've got, it looks like the ones where the ROM's stored, one's the uh, sort of like graphics, and then you've got a RAM chip, and then you've got the CPU in there. Okay. It doesn't matter. Like I say, this is, I'm never going to turn this on. Um, but I can desolder all of the stuff from it, it looks like. If not, I can use these, just rebuild them and glue them into here. Because so, I can make USBs, so glue them into there. All right, that's good news. So hopefully I can get to work now. Oh, look at that fit. All right, lovely. Well, Raspberry Pi PlayStation, looking good so far. Peace.